Welcome to the Beach Boss Influencers podcast. In this episode, we're going to be sharing um, a well-known, awkward, old-school follow-up approach. Um, and we're well about to stop. And we're going to teach you about our not-so-secret passive recruiting method. So if you're joining us, my name is Fran Loebscher. I'm Carrie Hyam. I'm Kat Kristelnikov. And I'm Adrienne Lindine. So if you want to learn a modern approach to, to recruitment that is different from traditional network marketing and sometimes and different from the sometimes awkward follow-up methods, many network marketers are shifting towards more passive recruiting techniques, which often involve um, a less direct outreach, outreach. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it feels like being a roach. Um, and more <laughs> now we've got the giggles. Um, and get, to get more social engagement with potential prospects. Now, don't forget to smash that subscribe button um, and share this episode with your teams and with your network so we can all rise to the top together. So let's start off with a breakdown of what we mean by not so secret passive passive recruiting method. Kat, do you want to? Yeah. So let us know, guys, if you'd like to learn how to passively recruit people into your business. And what we mean by that, it doesn't mean that you just sit there eating bonbons and <laughs> doing nothing and they just enrolling <laughs> bonbons <laughs> and they just, you know, enrolling into your team. Well, it's kind of like, that's what it looks like from the outside, right? People would be thinking that you're absolutely doing nothing. You just sit there and look pretty and people just, you know, line up, <laughs> get in line to be on your team. Um, in real life, there is, you know, there is the process for that. There is the strategy. And we mastered this strategy several years ago and built huge teams, you know, thousands of people, and we actually enjoyed doing it. So the first step in this process is actually growing. Pay attention. I'm going to slow down <laughs> because <laughs> most network marketers are not doing it. Growing. No a targeted network of your perfect prospects. What most network marketers are doing, they're like, oh, I already have a network. Yes, you do. And they go and reach out to every person in their network with their amazing opportunity and get like maybe their mom saying yes and they're someone who just won them to, you know, leave them alone. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I signed up two people. This method works. <laughs> Let me go do more of that. Let me get the heck out of all the people on my social media, right? So we all done that. So I've been there and we all done that. That's why we're so, you know, kind of like make fun of ourselves. But at the same time, we want to help you to learn on our own mistakes. So the first thing that you need to learn how to do while you're reaching out to your mom and your sister and your neighbor and your doctor <laughs> and everyone, right, who might seem like the perfect prospect. And listen to, to the word perfect prospect, right? We're not talking, you know, go and talk to everyone and anyone. That's what traditional network marketer taught us. In the everyone beginning. needs my product. If they, if they can breathe, they, they can be on your team, right? Yeah, they can be, but they will be what we call monkeys on your back and drag your business backwards because they probably didn't sign up for the business. They sign up because you invited them 17 times to that one Zoom call where they felt like, you know, someone twisted their arm and they just sign up so they can get off that Zoom call. So start growing targeted audience of your perfect prospect while you're still working with your warm market. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's a process. It's a strategy. It's a skill set. And it's not going to take, you know, one 10 minute video to watch and click a couple buttons on social media. It's the process that need to be happening all the time. So basically you need to learn how to get new eyeballs onto your world, into your network, into your content, into your communities every single day. And it's possible. That's actually exactly what we teach our students. We break it down 
step by step, bite by bite, whatever, however you want to call it. And we teach how to do it effectively. So you don't have to, you know, bugging people and talking to the wrong people, getting frustrated and getting discouraged and wanting to quit network marketing because it doesn't work. <laughs> so this is the first thing that you need to learn how to do. Yeah. And while you're doing that, right, while you're growing a targeted network, right, one of the ways that you are doing that um, is by sharing valuable content. So it's your content marketing. It's, you know, your social media marketing strategy, so to speak. Um, and within that strategy, now don't get me wrong, that does not mean that every day you show up and you're posting all about your, your products and your company all day long. That actually is going to repel people from you. Um, and if consumers, okay, so think about yourself on social media, right? Like, Think about why you follow certain people and why you follow certain people instead of like, not like the other person that might be in like similar, you know, whatever that looks like you're attracted to either, right? It depends on me. Let's just talk like leaders here or something in the network marketing space. You're attracted to them for a reason, right? Like it's stuff they're sharing, but then you're starting to see things that they do at home or, or within their life. Right? So you're also seeing, you're seeing that they're growing a business. You're seeing that they're maybe going around and, you know, speaking or, or whatever you're seeing that they made a recipe and they eat normal food, just like you and I, you're seeing that maybe they have kids or that they exercise. And before you're like, I never knew that that person was into that. I never knew these things about them. And all of a sudden you're like, I like them even more. I want to follow them even more. Right? So when you are growing a network of targeted people and speaking to them and sharing with them about, you know, not just your business, but the things you're passionate about, your hobbies, like you, maybe they're seeing your personality, right? Like you're maybe one of those on social media, you are giving those people an idea of like, it's not just about your business. So you are bringing people in the right people while creating curiosity around your product and your business. And this is that whole, like growing your tribe because they're not just like, Oh, you're a network marketer and I want to follow you. It's like, you're a network marketer and you do this and you do this. And like, I see us being very similar. Like you're my person, right? So it all comes down to like, what are you sharing on social media? Are you giving them tips with, to help them within their own business? Are you giving them tips th that's related? We call those value, right? That's related to, you know, the, the brand or the product that you, um, you know, that you're selling within your business. So social media posts, lives, your stories, like Facebook groups, right? This can all help in creating like your powerful brand that sets you apart from what everybody else is doing on social media. And it's able to attract your ideal people. Like I, uh, I don't know if friends said it, but it was in my mind when she was saying it. Um, but it basically is like a sift and sorter. So when we're talking about passive recruiting and passive, it's like, based off of your content or how you're showing up on social media and the people you're connecting with, like they're going to fall in to your social media, your, your content marketing ecosystem. And they're like that process of sifting and sorting, it's going to disqualify the people who aren't for you. And it's going to attract the people and qualify the ones who are. And, and this all happens without you having to manually do any of it, which is amazing. So. <laughs> Yes, I love it. And another step to this that I feel people like skim by or really don't utilize or take advantage of is referrals. When you have people that love whatever it is that you are promoting, right? So maybe current customers, people that are in your network, maybe even people that are in your team, there's times where you can leverage other people's networks to grow even faster. So I have a cousin, she was in a very well-known makeup and skincare company uh, when I was younger, and she built a massive team and a massive paycheck. She was a single mom, 100% off of referrals. So this was complete before social media even was around. She did this and she got really good at incentivizing people to share her 
with their networks. So whether it was three free products or uh, whether it was, sometimes it was like, you know, a $25 Amazon gift card. Or, um, I, I think at one time she was even like throwing in like a coffee, like a, she'll, she'll buy you coffee or something like that. You know, if you would share, uh, you know, her products or whatever. Um, you know, I know that there's a lot in like the direct sales specifically space where like you'll incentivize people for hosting a party or for whatever they may be, but what can you give people that's free? Doesn't cost you anything that is incentive enough for them to want to share, right? It, Cause if they love something they're they'll have no problem talking about it right? They have no problem talking about it. People talk about things that they love all the time. And so when you can incentivize them in some way, um, for us beaches, it was like we incentivized and uh, if you would refer people to like our Facebook group, uh, we would do like a drawing to win a free 20 minute session with one of us, right? Like it was, what can you give that's free that people go nuts over? Maybe it's not free, but super cheap that you would not believe what people will do at the thought of like having their Starbucks paid for <laughs> that day. You know, like when, when it comes to referrals, don't overlook that because your net chances are that if that person is in your network and that person is attracted to you, whatever this brand is that you're uh, promoting through your content on social media, you're connecting with those people anyways, by growing your audience, this is a quick way to grow your audience by tapping into your network's networks, because those network's networks are full of your perfect prospects. Absolutely. And, and going off of that, another perfect way to, um, you know, to tap into more people and find your people um, is in, you know, is in networking groups. So on social media, there are Facebook groups. There are Facebook groups where your target where your target audience, your people are hanging out, where they are searching for your solution, okay, where you can go and connect with them and build relationships with them in there and start growing that audience of those people. The very best Facebook group, though, I'm going to tell you, is going to be your own Facebook group that you build where you can, you are in, you know what content is going out, where you can start building relationships and speaking one to many in your own group, building that know, like, and trust, letting people get to know you, all right, and adding the, adding massive value in there, but also, you know, being a normal human being and asking questions and, you know, letting people have fun in that group. So it's not only where they're going to get value, but they're also going to have fun. They're going to, it's going to be the place where they go. But they want to go and hang out because it's fun. It's, it's informative. Um, it's valuable. And, you know, and they're connecting with other people who are just like them. Okay. So, you know, Facebook groups, whether it is, you know, and the old the old days, and it just it actually used to give me the heebie-jeebies, was going to networking events. I used to hate them. I used to want to hide in the corner and not even open my mouth. And I felt, yeah, some people love them. Some people still do them. And if that is your that is your job, then absolutely go do them. We're all about both using social media and and connecting to people all over the world. And so that you can do, you know, through Facebook groups. And as soon as you start growing that audience and actually think, actually, I could, I could grow my own Facebook group and add a ton of value in there and have a pay, have a place where I can put my, my, my tribe all together and add the value that they're searching for, do it. Yeah. Uh, as you guys noticed all these strategies, if you learn how to do it the right way, Number one is having the right audience. And like what Adrian and friend and Carrie said, all these things will help you to build that right audience that grow your network, right? Your personal network of your perfect prospects. Then you have to learn how to build relationships with that audience because um, I bet when friend said, going to networking groups or Facebook groups, some of you probably roll your eyes like, oh, here they go again. Facebook groups don't work. They don't work because what I call it, they became network marketers proof. <laughs> Any group you try to get in, they will say no network marketing, no spamming, no messaging my members, no links, no self-promoting, 
Why? Because network marketers earn this reputation of spamming, promoting their own stuff when they go to other people's groups. So nobody wants to have people spamming their audience, right? That they uh, took time to build. They don't want spammers there and people who will, you know, steal their audience. So it's very important to understand that you going into this groups, not to sell your stuff. That's what most network marketers do. They get in and it's like, oh, who can I sell my things to? Oh, this person said she has headaches. Let me go send her my link. <laughs> because I how have can to. I, how can I get her my link? Yeah. Question. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, right? You have to learn how to be a professional friend maker and how to build those relationships, regardless if these people will ever be interested in what you're selling, right? In Often people think, well, how it's like a hack, how it's a shortcut. I want like the fat, I want the fast thing. So, but this is actually the shortcut, having the right audience, build a relationship with that audience, position yourself as a leader and expert in that niche. And then people would want to buy whatever is that you're selling or will want to join whatever is opportunity that you have in front of them. And you probably notice there's people out there, no matter, you know, they do a live video, they say, I have this amazing thing and people just line up to buy or join, right? You can be that person, <laughs> but it's not going to happen by spamming people, going into other people's, you know, still other people's groups or whatever. So what I'm trying to say that these methods that we talk about today will help you to attract the right people into your team or buy your products and repel all those, you know, ones that drag your business down, the monkeys on your back, the couch potatoes. So, and if you'd like to learn how to attract your perfect prospects so you can avoid spammy cold reach outs all together, click the link in the comments or above this video and grab our social recruiting secrets. And don't forget to join our free online community where we have over 30,000 network marketers just like you to discover the secrets to grow your business using social media and automation. So find the link in the description and be one of our members. And we'll see you next time.